and one. Did you see anything? Oh no. Okay, here we go. Now it said it started. Oh, here we go. You are now alive. All right, how do I make myself seen right? Is it, can you see me good? I'm going to go back to my cello chair. All right, I think I'll hang up then since I'm live. All right, thank you. David Ajia. I'm a cellist. I'll be playing on this instrument, the cello, today. I would like to welcome you all into my home and I hope you enjoy this short recital of music for the solo cello. Ben Berman, the director of the First Reformed Church, has asked me to read a short statement before I begin. This recital is being presented as part of the Downtown Lunchtime Recital Series of First Reformed Church. Recently, because of the shelter-in-place order from the Governor of New Jersey due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we have decided to move our midday events online rather than postpone them indefinitely. This recital is being funded by the Middlesex County Office of Arts and History. If you have any questions about our series, if you'd like to make a donation to keep this series going, or if you would like to get on our mailing list, please contact Benjamin Berman, the music director, or the secretary at secretary at firstreformedchurch.net. On behalf of First Reformed Church, thank you so much for joining this live stream. I would personally like to thank Ben Berman for inviting me to be a part of this recital series and for making it possible to continue this in light of our current situation. The theme of his lunchtime recital series is Baroque music, and in keeping with this theme, I've decided to play one of the first pieces ever written for the cello as a solo instrument. The composer is Domenico Gabrielli, who was active and a professional cellist in Bologna, Italy. He was born in 1651 and died in 1690. In order to give you a perspective as to how early this music actually is, J.S. Bach, who's one of the most famous Baroque composers and whose birth date is used as the beginning marker of the Baroque period, was born in 1685. So when Bach was only five years old, Gabrielli was already dead. Today I'll be performing six ricercari by him. And the word ricercare in Italian means to search or to look for. So you'll hear a lot of meandering and wandering around in this type of music. In order for Gabrielli to write and to develop the cello, as an instrument for solo music, there was one great invention that occurred in Bologna in about the 1660s. At that time, all strings were made out of animal intestine, which was dried and wound together to make the strings. While this gave a very warm and resonant sound, the strings were not very durable. They were affected very easily by temperature and humidity, and they could not hold an extremely large amount of pressure from the bow. They would break easily if too much pressure were applied. Some string inventors in the 1660s in Bologna decided to wrap the lower two strings of the cello, which were very thick due to their low sound, 
with a metal winding. And this metal winding was really revolutionary and that it allowed the strings to be played with more pressure and to have a higher tension while played. This also allowed the cello, which was much bigger at that point in time, to be cut down to a slightly smaller size in order to allow the left hand to move in a more comfortable manner and go into the higher positions more easily. In fact, some of the earliest Italian cellos, Stradivarius and Guarneri's and so on, still have a bit of evidence of when they were cut down here towards the top of the cello to make them into a normal cello size. So I hope you enjoyed this short program of Six Ricciarcari by Domenico Gabrielli. Thank you. 